This has probably happened to you before. You, or maybe a friend or family member, has been told, you may have arthritis. You go online to find some information, do a search, and get a set of 240 million results. A bit too much to look through top to bottom. Some results look promising, but then there is also the one you open that says something like this, which was a real advertisement from the late 19th century. Hmm, can anything cure all of these conditions? Probably not. Is there anything you can do to help tell the difference between a good and a bad health site? Yes, there is, and it's called applying the craft test. Yes, the craft test. CRAP stands for Current, Relevant, Authoritative, Accurate, and Purposeful. These are five criteria you can apply to any website, especially medical ones, that will help you determine if a site might be helpful or not. Let's go through these one by one. Starting with current, is there a date anywhere on the site that can tell you when it was created or last updated? Someone could have put up a great site on arthritis 10 years ago, and as long as they paid their internet bill, it would remain in place. A lot of research has been done on arthritis in the last 10 years, and you probably don't want to be relying on information that old. Relevancy asks if the site is really providing the information promised. If the name sounds good, but the site leaves you with more questions than when you started, it is probably not very relevant. Authoritative means who says so. There is Medline Plus, a comprehensive health information site maintained by the U.S. National Library of Medicine. And there's Joe's arthritis page. On Medline Plus, it is easy to see who is responsible for writing the content you are seeing. Joe might be a great guy, and he might know a lot about arthritis, but might he also be misinformed? The other A is for accuracy. This can be one of the hardest of the five questions to answer. How can you tell if something is accurate when the reason you did your search was to find out about it in the first place? But there are some things you can do. Look for references on the site. If someone is telling you something, how do they know it is right? Either they will tell you where they found the information or will tell you the qualifications of the author. Good sites will have a link to an editorial board or an author's list that will give you detailed information about who built and maintains the site. Finally, there is the purpose. In the search on arthritis, you find some information from the Arthritis Foundation. Their mission is to basically help people with this condition. But when you find a site with that miracle cure, is their mission to help those with arthritis, or is it to make money selling you something that may not even work? Look for an About Us page that gives information about the group or person putting up what you are seeing. If it's too good to be true, it often is. You can find a handout on our site that provides more information on the CRAB test, as well as a checklist you can use to apply to health sites you find.